जय श्री माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट एस ऑल कलेक्टिवली बो डाउन टू श्री माता जी राइस कुंडली एंड टेक बंदन श्री माता जी प्लीज ब्लेस विद साइलेंस एंड प्लीज गाइड इन दिस मेडिटेशन Let us take three maha mantras followed by Shri Ganesha mantra.
Let us keep our attention on our subtle system and the Sahasrara. Let us be in meditation for a minute to understand the status of our subtle system. In today's meditation, we will listen to Sri Mataji's talks and then we will follow what she says in those talks. These are pretty much guided meditation talks by Sri Mataji.
Now let us listen to a talk of Sri Mataji where she talks about inviting her into our brains to have more awareness. ideas about sympathies, ideas about you know, being kind to others and compassionate to others. But what is a human compassion? It doesn't do anything. It just talks. Why? The God's compassion works. It works. It works on people. It doesn't talk that, oh, I'm very compassionate, I'm full of compassion, nothing. It just works. It manifests. So, one should understand. To be a complete egoist personality, one should try to obey the self within yourself. Now, how do you obey yourself within yourself? It is through vibratory awareness. Try to obey through your vibratory awareness. Any question you want to ask, anything you want to do, you must obey it through your vibratory awareness. Now, some people are not so sensitive. That's true. The reason why they are not sensitive is because they think about it. Now, you think with your brain. Alright? If your brain can be enlightened, then you will think as a divine thing and your sensitivity will improve. Because sensitivity comes from the central nervous system. Now, in the central nervous system, if there is any blockage, it is actually in the brain. Because all the centers are represented in the brain. So the best thing is to say that, Mother, come in my brain. Please reside in my brain. Please make your room in this brain. You be the controller of this brain. Let this brain be guided by your divine wisdom. And you don't think for yourself. And this word, I think, should be dropped completely from such I think means goes on. I see, funny way. It can be anything, you see. Like once we went out and we had one of my very stupid uh, relations staying with us in God. And uh, as I was going out, we had no service that day. So I, I was cooking. But that day when we were going out, so I told her, I'll in the morning. Can you make a little bit of kitchen for us when we come back? We'll have that. That's the only cooking she did in her life. I mean, which she did not do out. So when we came back, uh, she told me that she had not cooked. So I said, what? Why didn't you cook? Because we were supposed to take our food here. She said, I, I thought that maybe you may not come. Maybe you're not hungry. Maybe you may not like to eat. Maybe I may not be well. So, so all these four alternatives, not to do the food. But I said, why didn't you think that you may be hungry? <laughs> that we will eat? Why didn't you think this way? But I thought, you see, this is an explanation for uh, not having one in the brain, I should say, that there is no divine uh, guidance in the brain. Then the guidance comes from your ego or from your super ego. We say, I, I thought that this might happen. But how, why, why did you think? I, why not the other way down? Why did you think the other way down? But the problem is this brain of yours, you see, when it comes in between, which is nothing compared to that big brain, you see. Your brain is nothing but like a little mosquito, it comes up, you know, it comes here and then says, oh, oh, this, 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 this. And then the problem starts. But if you read his heart, use it. His power, you know, God has made you as the best 
instrument that you could think of. And as you start using your instrument with that wisdom and surrender on humility, gradually it evolves more and more and more and you start developing more sensitive sides or we can say evolving a new method in this and getting a better and better understanding of the working of such. So it is important that first of all we must decide to stop the brain working too much and say that mother you be in our brain. I'm not anti for you in person. It's not the thing. Just say that mother you have to be in our brain. Now this brain is as you know is supported by the five elements. They all are in this brain. <coughs> and if you can somehow or other bring me in that brain, somehow or other, by telling your brain now not to disturb you anymore, you'll be amazed that immediately the whole system will start working like a tank. It will be such a sensitive thing, you don't have to worry about anything, you don't have to think about it. You touch anything, it becomes bold, sort of thing. You see, it becomes my daughter's touch. It's become such a great thing. But that is to achieve is difficult for people. They find it difficult to achieve that kind of a perfection where you lose completely ego and you become egoless. Like the fire in Madara, like all the animals. They have no ego. It's only human beings who are people. And the ego is such a big thing. Of course, when you don't do anything, why should you think you are doing something? And why should you be responsible for doing it? But the thing is, you, you think that, no, it's not God. We have to do this. And I have to decide. You see, it's just we play tricks with ourselves. Morning till evening, spoiling our brain, absolutely becoming mad. Best thing is to surrender and see the things will come before you. I mean, we are amazed. Oh, how it has happened. How it has worked out. The other day I told just Kerry, you better go and get this service. She said, Mother, uh, the university has told some of the things. I can't get it. It's very difficult. I said, All right, I've said it to go. Then she telephoned me and said, No, it's impossible, you just can't do it, but if you want, you can come and see. And as she walked into the university in the office, they said, I'm a phone, you are just. So many times it will happen to you people. But it took about 10 minutes for me to convince her that she just tried. it. But I must say still she was not so adamant. She was thinking if mother is in the same thing. But if you suppose it's all right, mother, you are saying, I'm just being to register. Then what happens? Even if you do not get registered, doesn't matter. That's not important. You are bringing it. That's important. That your brain is, it becomes more sensitive. It's not important that the work should be done. That's not important. What is important that in your brain you must get this idea that let me be enlightened. All right? Let us be in meditation for a few minutes, inviting Sri Mataji to come into our brains and enlighten our brain.
Now let us li listen to another talk of Sri Mataji about bringing spirit into the brain and enlightening the brain further. But when the brain becomes the spirit, the spirit is the doer. And when spirit is the doer, then you become a complete Shiva, self-realized. In that state, if you get angry, you are not attached. You are not an attached person to anything whatsoever. If you possess anything, you are not attached. You cannot attach because there is detachment, complete detachment. You don't bother about any attachments whatsoever. Even for a second you are not attached. Now, I would say, to understand the detachment of spirit, we should study ourselves very well, clearly. How are we attached? We are attached, firstly, by our brain, mostly by our brain, because all our conditionings are in our brain and all our ego is also in our brain. So all emotional attachments are through our brain and all our egoistical attachments also are through our brain. That's why it is said that after realization one must try to practice the Shiva Tattva by practicing detachment. Now, how do you practice this detachment? Sagarana English Samastaina Thoda Thoda. Because we get attached to something, of course through our brain, but through our attention. So we try to do what we call Chitta Nirodha, is to control your attention. Where is it going? In the practice of Sahaja Yoga, if you have to rise higher, you have to improve your own instrument and not the instrument of others. This is one thing one should do, for definite. Now you just watch your attention, where is it going? Watch it. As soon as you start watching yourself, your attention, you will become more identified with your spirit because if you have to watch your attention, you have to be your spirit, otherwise how will you watch it? So now see where is your attention going? First, the attachment is in all gross ways to your body. So we see Shiva, there is no attachment to his body. He sleeps anywhere. He goes to the cemeteries and sleeps there. Because not attached, he can never be caught up by any boots or anything, nothing of the kind. He is detached.
The detachment is to be watched and seen through your own attachments. Now, because you are realized souls, not yet, the spirit has not come into your brain, of course, but still you are realized souls. So, what you, have, you can do is at least to watch your attention, you can do that. You can watch your attention very clearly by seeing where your attention is going. And then controlling your attention also you can do. Very simple. To control your attention, you have to just remove your attention from this to that. Try to change your priorities. All this has to be done now, after realization, a complete task. So the body demands comfort. Try to make body uncomfortable a little bit. Try. What you think it to be comfortable, try to make it a little uncomfortable. That's why people went to Himalayas. You see, coming to this place itself has caused us a lot of problems. But going to Himalayas, you can imagine. So after realization, they should take their body to Himalayas. All right, go through all this. Let's see how you act. So what you call the penance side starts now. In a way, it's a penance which you can do very easily because now you realize source. With enjoyment, little, try to make this body. For Shiva, it doesn't matter whether he is in a symmetry or in his own kailasa, or anywhere. Where is your attention is, you see, that your human attention is hopelessly bad, very entangled nonsense it is. We did this because of this. There's an explanation or others have to give an explanation. No explanation is needed to be given or to be accepted or to be asked for. No explanation. To exist without explanation is the best way. In a simple Hindi language, jaise rakhau, taise hero. Whichever way you keep me, I'll remain in that state. And the further in this poem, Kabira says, if you make me go on an elephant, means the royal. Conveyance, I'll go. If you walk me walk, I'll walk. Jaise rakhavu, taise hirau. So no reaction on that part. No reaction. First no explanation, no reaction. Let us be in meditation for a couple of minutes.
let us enjoy this calmness this beautiful meditation for a few more minutes while thanking Shri Mataji for this beautiful experience Let us now take third verse of Great Mahamantras. Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Sahasrara Swamini Moksha Pradhayini Mataji Shri Nirmala Devyai Namo Namaha Shri Mataji, thank you for blessing us with this opportunity to be in meditation at your Divine Lotus Feet. Thank you for guiding us in today's meditation. Please forgive us, Shri Mataji, for all the mistakes we may have committed knowingly or unknowingly during today's session. Please be in our hearts and in our brain and please guide us throughout this day and night. Jai Shri Mataji. Thank you everyone for joining. Have a great day and happy Easter. Wishing you all a wonderful day ahead. Jai Shri Mataji.